Who is Halo Diagnostics? Halo Diagnostics is having a geometric impact on healthcare through early detection of the most important diseases that we face. We're doing this in three different ways. First of all, we're taking advanced imaging centers that currently only offer MRI, CT, ultrasound, and PET-CT, and we're adding additional biomarkers at the center level. So in the case of prostate cancer, that includes not only the MRI of the prostate, but we get a saliva swab to look for genetic testing. We do a blood draw to look for circulating tumor cells. Any image-guided biopsy of the prostate, we send out for tissue-based genomics. We also get a urine sample to look for exosomes using a test called ExoDX that tracks with clinically significant prostate cancer. The second step is that we're converting our centers from delivering population-based healthcare to delivering personalized precision healthcare. So these additional biomarkers provide data that we can combine with machine learning algorithms so that, for example, again, using prostate cancer as a model, instead of treating a man who's newly diagnosed with prostate cancer as the other 225,000 men diagnosed this year with prostate cancer, we would treat that individual with the HALO platform as an individual in the context of their own genetics, their own genomics, and other personalized components of their healthcare. The third component that we're doing at the HALO centers as part of our tactics is that we learned that by adding women's imaging centers to outpatient imaging centers almost 30 years ago and scaling out screening mammography, that we could improve the survival of breast cancer by 30%. And we're doing the same thing now at HALO centers, scaling men's health solutions to our HALO centers, not only with a focus on prostate cancer, but also on one of our other verticals, which is cardiovascular disease. It turns out the median age of sudden cardiac death is only 50 years. It's not 60, 70, 80 years. It's only 50 years old. In addition, 30% of people, the first time they have symptoms from their heart disease, they die at presentation. So if folks think we're doing an adequate job screening for the number one killer of men and women worldwide, and 30% of people are still dying the first time they have symptoms, we are so far off what we need to be doing for early detection. The HALO way, using the HALO platform, is to combine biomarkers and advanced imaging in a similar way that I described with prostate cancer, to find patients who are at risk of sudden cardiac death and are at risk of stroke, identify them early, and get them on an optimal medical therapy. And we're using, again, this same ensemble biomarker approach for early detection of breast cancer in our women's vertical, for Alzheimer's type dementia in our neuro vertical, and also for lung cancer and COPD in our lung vertical. So a large component of the HALO vision is what we refer to as the HALO platform. Initially, this includes the early detection using uh, precision diagnostics. But this will also go on to include machine learning algorithms that combine and use the data from all these biomarkers to provide companion readers for our radiologists. And it also will include a component on the operations side of these advanced diagnostic centers, helping to improve the patient experience, including things like a mobile app that looks more like your airline app, the scheduling experience, the follow-up of those patients. So the HALO platform has a vision on the operations side, on the precision healthcare side, but also on the tech enabling of the radiologists to improve their efficiency and accuracy. In summary, at HALO Diagnostics, our mission is to deliver early detection through minimally invasive testing combined with advanced imaging so that we can transition away from population-based healthcare to true personalized precision healthcare.